Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is the fourth Thursday of the month, taking over from Michelle Davis. We have a, another wonderful guest we're going to share with you in just a second, but I do need to talk about our sponsor, 5AM Global. In the last segment, I told you about their event planning capabilities. The first thing they always start with, if, they're going to be a if you're going to be a client of theirs at 5AM Global, is branding. Do you have the right branding? Do you have effective branding? And how they might be able to help you. And that's not just your logo and your business cards, that's your whole branding concept. So if you have your branding concept locked down, they'll help you refine that and get that out there. But if you need some help with that, 5AM Global can help you with that too. So looking for branding help, 5AM Global. Now we're back with our second guest, Jess Horan from Original Cocktail Club. You're relatively new to Las Vegas. Yeah, really new. But we both went to Boston University. Oh, I went I went a lot earlier than she did. It wasn't so, that much earlier. So, but we both got our undergraduate degrees from Boston University. And you've done a lot of work with other startup companies. Yes. And that's what's helped you with your new startup company, right. which is called Original Cocktail Club right here in Las Vegas. So welcome, right. to, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So what is Original Cocktail Club? And how did you come up with it? Right, so Original Cocktail Club is a subscription-based app and members receive half off their alcohol when they dine at any of our restaurants. Okay. So we have about 40 around town. We have, you know, kind of more of your casual fun dining places mm -hmm. to more of the fine dining places. So we have Firefly, mm -hmm. Tacos and Beer, we have And Iron, Honey Salt, mm -hmm. Pierros, Ferraros, so really like wide gamut of places. And yeah, when members go, they get half off their alcohol and when they dine at any of our restaurants. All right, so, so. so chances are, if you have a favorite restaurant, a favorite locals restaurant here in Las Vegas, and you're already eating and you're drinking there, chances are they're already on your list at this point. Yeah, pretty And much. so you should be getting half off your drinks. It just makes sense. I, I agree. We like I, to say it's happy hour all the time. So. I agree. Well, it is Las Vegas. So, <laughs> so now how did you come up with this idea? So that, I, that's really fascinating. Yeah. So I am a foodie. I love going out to eat dinner. Um, I also like to drink. So, mm -hmm. you know, I enjoy a good martini or a glass of wine here or there. So, um, yeah, I would go out to all these fabulous places and I would see that it was kind of dead, like on a mm -hmm. random night. So our whole concept is we help restaurants fill empty tables at right. slow times, right? So I was thinking, what would help these restaurants bring people in, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what brings me in places is if they have a good happy hour. Right. So basically the concept is to, you know, help the restaurants during these slow times. And then for the members, it's great because they get to go in, try all these new awesome places mm -hmm. without breaking the bank. So. Which is great. And so the way you get signed up for this is you have an app. Right. Right. And so you go, you download the, you download the app. Right. Off of the, either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, or can yes. they, they can even go to your website and get the app, right? Right, yeah. So you can actually sign up on our website, and mm -hmm. then um, from there, then you can download the app. Right. So you get signed up, you download the app, you're good to go. It gives you a list of all the places. You can yes. see you know when they're going to have stuff, and that's important, too, because it's not not every restaurant's doing everything all the time, right? So you guys right. have a schedule out there that people can see. Right. So, I mean, we have some places like Honey Salt, Piero's, uh, Seventh and Carson, Ferraro's, they're actually available every single day. Which is great. Thank which you. Is awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah, which is great. And then some of the restaurants only have certain days, mm -hmm. but the app allows you to see what's available. Mm -hmm. Like today, you can check what's available next on uh, Tuesday or whatever day right. you feel like going in. And then there's also a map feature that allows you to see like what's near you at the moment. Right, which is really to. cool, which you can see what's going on right now if you right. and your friends are trying to decide where to go for happy hour. So, but technology is a big piece of this business. Right. What did you learn about technology as you were pulling all this together? You know, um, I think it's really important to like decide what exact what features and exactly what you want, mm -hmm. and then really find a tech partner who's able to fulfill all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of important decisions that you don't really necessarily think of when you're when you have an app that you want to develop. Like, do I is it important for me to have them be local? Like for us, that was something important. Mm -hmm. We didn't really want to outsource somewhere else. We okay. wanted to support local. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot of different kind of decisions that you really need to like do a lot of research on to figure out exactly what you want and how you're going to get it. Okay. Now, do you consider yourself, and I, I always find this question interesting when you look at companies like Uber and what they do, because they say, we're not a transportation company, we're a tech company. Right. Do you consider yourself a hospitality company or a tech company and why? It's funny because we're not like really exactly either, but I would mm -hmm. definitely say that we're more of a hospitality company okay. because our restaurants kind of make us who we are. 
You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if we didn't have any good restaurants, nobody would just download the app, right? Okay. People want to join Original Cocktail Club because we have this amazing list of all these great restaurants that you can get half off at. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what helps us, you know, get people, you know, get people in the door, help them get the, get download the app and that kind of thing. Okay. So, 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 uh, so kind of at its core, while tech is a big piece, it's really a hospitality company. It's, right. it's helping these restaurants fill their tables, right. but it's also connecting up It's also connecting up people to the things they love to do to go out and eat and drink. So exactly. at its core, you, you think of it as a hospitality company. Right. I think that's really cool because a lot of people are just like, no, we're a tech company. Don't regulate us. Yeah. Right? yeah. So um, what was your biggest challenge getting this company going? So there's obviously two sides of the business. There's the restaurant side and then mm-hmm. there's the user side. Mm-hmm. So starting out, I have this great idea. You know, we're going to help restaurants fill empty tables. And you go into a restaurant and they ask, well, what does your site look like? Can we see your site? Can we see your app? Can we, who else is on board? Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't really have anybody on board. We didn't have a site yet. Okay. We were just trying to get restaurants. Okay. So trying to get restaurants when you don't have any restaurants is very mm-hmm. challenging. But once you know you start getting a couple people on board who believe in entrepreneurs and they think that it's a really great idea, then from there, you know, it's we were able to build our restaurant list and what what was the pitch you made when you didn't have a site to show or an app to show? How did you approach doing that pitch to these restaurants? Because I'm sure they see stuff like this, not every day, but pretty often. Yeah, so, I mean, it was definitely challenging because restaurants don't want to sign up. Look, what if I had this janky app? Nobody wants to be associated with that. They don't want to put their logo on a website sure, if, yeah. if it doesn't look good. Right. So I think the first thing that we did was got mock-ups. That was like okay. the very first thing. So mm-hmm. at least we could show them this is what it's going to look like. Okay. And then as soon as we have something that we can we can actually play around with, then we mm-hmm. would send them those kind of test links. And okay. They were able to kind of go from there. Okay. So, and then it just built one at a time. So yeah. you had a couple, then you had your app, and you had a couple already get to go in the app, and then... Right. And now you're off to the races. And the other day, I had a restaurant actually, like a couple of restaurants approached me saying, how can I come on board? So awesome. that was really exciting. That's really great. Yeah. That's a good position to be in. So now that you have restaurants coming to you, what do you think your biggest challenge is going to be going forward? So, I mean, definitely, uh, once people try the app and they use it one time, they mm-hmm. see the value. They see how much mm-hmm. they can save. I mean, I went to Piero's the other night, had two martinis. A martini there is $17. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it pays for itself in mm-hmm. one time sitting there. So I think, you know, getting people to try us, getting people to see how valuable it is. Mm-hmm. And then from there, they see, they tell their friends, and then that's kind of how we continue to grow. Mm-hmm. So, so let, let's let's shift gears. I know this wasn't on the prepared list of questions, but let's let's talk about the value, right? Because th- there are a couple conditions that come on with getting the free the, the half price drinks, yeah. right? So let's talk about how this works when you go into your favorite restaurant if they're a member of this. Right. So I mean, most restaurants don't actually have exclusions. A lot of them just mm-hmm. say whatever you want. So mm-hmm. say the only really thing that you have to do is when you go in is order food. Right. So once you order food, all of your drinks for the night are half off. Mm-hmm. Um, Piero's has bottles of wine that are over $225 are excluded. Right. I think that's right. fair. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> I, I, I I'm, that's not a, I'm not a wine guy, but I think that's reasonable. But but I mean, point being is you, you need to go in and order some food right. and help out the restaurant a little bit. I mean, you know, if you if you order a, an entree or even an appetizer in some cases, yeah. You're, you're making out pretty well getting half price martinis somewhere, right? So, yeah, 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 definitely. So, so where are you looking to take the company next? What What's coming up next for Original Cocktail Club? I mean, we want to really, you know, kill it in Vegas and then okay. from there go city by city and really All kind right. of expand that way. Have you thought about which cities yet? Um, LA would probably be next mm-hmm. based on, you know, proximity and also a lot of the restaurants that we work with here have sister partners that okay. are there. So I feel like it would be a little easier to kind of move into that market. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, how can restaurants reach you if they're interested in being a partner with you? How can our viewers reach you if they have questions or if they just want to connect up and learn more about Original Cocktail Club? And how can people sign up and, and get the app? Yeah, so um, you can go to our website, OriginalCocktailClub.com. And if you want to reach me, you can email me directly at Jess at OriginalCocktailClub.com. And I actually have a special treat for your viewers. Oh, if we they love put that. In, I know. So if they put in W-C-O-B-M in caps, they get their first month free. So awesome. there you go. So go to originalcocktailclub.com put in WCOBM all caps don't forget very important yes and you'll get your first month for free and that's 
That's yeah, significant. Try us that's, out. Yeah. That's right. And and I should mention you also have the same deal with a nonprofit, right? Yes. So you you do some work with nonprofits. So you're not so in a, in addition to giving our viewers a discount, you actually have some things set up where you help some nonprofits with that first month will go, if they sign up through the nonprofit, that first month will go to the nonprofit. Right, right? So, so, yeah. So, and I love when, when businesses are finding a way to make lots of money and be socially conscious at exactly. the same time. That's what it's all about. Exactly. All right, well, thank you for being here, thank Jess. You don't go too me. far, because we're gonna bring you back for our panel discussions. And you guys don't go too far, because next we have Lee Jackson, the executive director from Rethink Worldwide. <laughs>